This is Julia Whittup with Talk Story TV, and we have with us this morning Melissa Range, who's a uh, fire walking instructor, and she's going to tell us about how she got into that and how it's impacted her life. Well, thank you, Julia. I really am grateful to be here today, and fire walking has been a tremendous, tremendous force in my life, and I'm very excited because not only did I become an instructor, but now in a couple of weeks, I'm going to get to go back and work with a bunch of women and fire walk again. So I've walked on fire 116 times, and about a year ago, actually, I woke up and I was guided by spirit to look into fire walking. It had been on my mind for a few years. And I woke up and said, I'm supposed to go fire walking. And I didn't know what that would look like. Yet I knew when I get in my intuition is going and I receive guidance, I always follow it. And so I started researching fire walking and I actually found a school in Dallas, Texas, which is about 12 hours away from me. And so I looked into this program and three weeks later, I was literally in Dallas, Texas. I got in my car on a Tuesday and by Sunday, I had walked on fire 116 times and I had a certificate that I was one of 2,000 people in the world who had completed Firewalk Instructor School. And some of the things that I felt while I was there were... I definitely felt fear because I didn't know what to expect, but I knew that if I kept doing the things that they told me to do, that I would be able to surmount my ego or release my ego, which was a huge thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to release all fear inside of me, and I also wanted to let go of my ego, and I was actually one of the few people there who really wanted to do that. You know, I didn't go there to try to accomplish a goal. I went there to release my ego and awaken my kundalini energy. And that's exactly what I did because each day they would sequence us with certain events to build us and build the momentum of us walking on the 1400 degree coals. So for example, the first day, they had us break boards and they had us do some NLP and write down our goals about what we wanted to change in our life. And then the next day we walked on 12 feet of broken glass and we climbed trees and hung like bats in the trees. And the next day, and each night we would walk on the fire. The next day we broke bricks, we broke arrows with our necks, we bent rebar poles. And each day I just felt like I was getting stronger and stronger. And, and during that time also, they teach you how to do each activity. They teach you how to build the fire. They teach you how to tend the fire. They teach you to talk to the fire. They teach you that the fire is actually your teacher. And so not only did I learn these skills around all these activities, but I was able to learn from the fire. And fire is actually my symbol. And so obviously I was there for a reason. Yet the impact that the fire walking has had on my life is it showed me that I was capable of more than I ever thought I was capable of. And it helped me to realize that I'm not just a physical body, that I'm actually a greater being, you know, having a spiritual or a physical experience that I'm a spiritual being in a physical body. Yet when I firewalked, I will tell you the last night we did um, 108 times on the 1400 degree coals. And I remember being there thinking, I don't know if I can do that. I'm not sure I can walk 108 times on these 1400 degree coals. But I was with a team of people who were all doing it with me. And we all built each other up and we all stood in the light with one another and we all raised each other's vibrations. And we chanted and we sang and we cheered and we clapped. And we stood and we held the space for one another. And we pushed through our fear 
in order to reach a goal or, you know, for me again, to release my ego. So I know one of the things that I've been doing for the last eight years is truly seeking the kingdom of heaven and, and seeking unconditional love for myself because I am a single mom of three kids and I am a teacher. I am a mentor to many women who have big, big struggles in their lives. And I'm a healer. I'm a Reiki master teacher and I am an, a medium. And so once I firewalked, I feel like my life really started to shift in an even greater way. It really just showed me that, again, I am more capable than I ever dreamed. And there is this divinity within me that is so powerful and so full of light and love. And I know that what I did also not only changed my life, but it also showed my children and the people in my life that we all have these capabilities that we don't think are possible. And we limit ourselves to a certain way maybe of living or that we are incapable of changing something in our lives. And this really showed me that not only am I capable, but life has unlimited possibilities. And so it was a profound experience for me. And like I said, I'm excited because in a few weeks I get to go do it again with some of the women that I made friends with and then other women from around the country. And we're gonna do a women's fire walk only in Texas. And I feel so much gratitude that I can experience this and in a way push myself outside of my comfort zone and know that I'm capable of doing things I never thought that I could do. Wow. <laughs> so do you have any uh, videos of you fire walking? Whoops. Are we stuck? Do, do you have any videos of you say, fire walking? Say that again. Do you have any videos of you fire walking? We, we don't have any videos because they don't allow you to take videos when you're walking on the fire because it can distract your state of mind, the state that you're in. They take pictures. And actually, they, I just noticed they just did a Pepsi commercial for uh, a famous singer doing a firewalk, and they did video it. But when I was at school, they would not video any of us because they wanted to make sure that we kept focus on what we were doing and that nothing took us out of that state and that we could experience that magnificent state we were in without any distractions. So I don't know uh, when we go to Texas in a few weeks, I can see if I can get a video made yet. I haven't seen any videos of any of my friends fire walking. I've seen probably videos taken where people then re replay. Maybe they're doing it kind of secretly. I don't know. I can find out though, but I have pictures okay. of fire walking. Well, it'd, be like, it'd be fun to have, see the pic have pictures on the website and, uh, videos too if they're available <clears throat> yes yes definitely i can send you a picture of myself and i want to get more pictures taken of me fire walking okay fabulous yeah. <laughs> wow and you're doing that now you're doing a women's one and what else do you have planned so there is a shaman in st louis who has asked me to do a fire walk for her shaman day so at the end of the day, probably in a couple months, I will be doing a shaman, uh, you know, fire walk at the end of the day for a bunch of people. I don't know how many yet. We haven't coordinated all the specifics, but I definitely will be doing that. And I know a lot of people, when they find out that I'm a fire walker and that I'm an instructor, they definitely want to come and do a fire walk with me where I, I'm going to be. And, and as of yet, spirit has not guided me to that place 
where I am to do a fire walk. So I know that 2018, I am sure of it, I will be doing probably a couple of fire walks in St. Louis. I just have to figure out the sticks. I already have the wood and I already, you know, know there's a lot of people that are going to be involved. So I just have to find the location of where I'm going to do them. So wow. that's exciting. Yes. <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> yeah. And I'd like, I'd like, so I have a lot of clients that come to me for Reiki and meet my mediumship Akashic record reading ability. And a lot of them, I want to actually try to get to come to do like a workshop with me and a fire walk so that they can see their potential and see that they are these magnificent creatures of light and love. And when they do this, I know they're going to experience a profound shift in who they really think that they are and what they're capable of. So I'm, I'm really talking to a lot of my clients about, okay, you know, we're going we're gonna to do a fire walk. And they all say, I'm not sure about that. But I think if they spent the day seeing what they're capable of, doing a glass walk, breaking a board, it would just be natural for them to progress into a fire walk as well. Wow. <laughs> How exciting and scary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing. It really is. It really blows your heart chakra open. I mean, to do it. It really, it is an amazing, I can't even still believe I did it, you know, but I did. <laughs> so. That would be hard to believe. Wow. Okay. Well, you will put some pictures up on the website, I hope. Okay, sure. I would love to. Okay. So those will be on the um front page uh, slideshow if anybody wants to see them that's at shamanic arts dot studio great and that's awesome where can people contact you if they're interested in following up on this they can contact me at rev up your life wellness dot com that's my website or they can send me an email too if they have inquiries about anything at Rev up your life wellness at gmail.com. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, yeah, so I'd love to connect with anybody. Thank you, Julia. I'm grateful for the time I spent with you today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. You're welcome. Okay, bye.